the Clonmel Oil Chasers next. This is a Grade 2 from Clonmel. Not what you'd expect it to be. Uh, it's a pretty small field for this. Uh, two and a half mile Grade 2. And popular class is at the top for David Hooley, Admiral Ascoli for Martin Hill, Lake San Qua for Darren Thompson, Attractive Branch, James Shea, Vintage Strader, Leon Van Rensburg, and Vision for Joshua Sutherland. Apologies for the croakiness, my voice is on the way out, it would seem. And they're called in and away. And Lake San Qua was the first one to poke its head in the lead, but this could be a tactical race, this one, six of the minute. Lake Saint Croix just about in front as they get to the first. Didn't jump it all that quickly, and that's allowed Vision to go on. So, Vision then is going to lead from Vintage Trader second. Lake Saint Croix now being pushed back along. Oh, that one does want to lead as they get over the next jump. That one a little bit better. Um, Vision still had jumped him though, but Lake Saint Croix has now got back into the lead. So, Lake Saint Croix passes the winning post in two more circuits of the track required, and Vision is second. Admiral Ascoli is third. Then it's the only grey in the field. Then comes Vintage Trader on the inside of Attractive Branch and the purple jacketed popular class. And it's just the back marker at this stage. But it's Lake Saint Croix who gets to this ditch with a clear leader. Well, let's go and jump that really nicely on the outside with Vision. And then Vintage Trader on Attractive Branch and finally popular class. Short run to the fourth, which they're all over again. Seasoned campaigners, these they get to the fifth, and they all jump that nicely as well. Another well, ditch, and all over that, with Lake Sound quite clear in front, attracted Brant second, and Vision third, and one of between those is fourth. A lot of jumping in this race. That's the seventh of the 18. They've got to take 18 fences in a two and a half mile up, and it's Lake Sound Quiet, and leads into the eighth. And over that one they go, and with attracted Brant second, popular class now third. Then Vintage Trader and Vision, and now Admiral Ascoli is just taking its turn at the back. Nothing is getting a turn in the lead apart from the Lake Saint Croix at this point. And leads by two. Attracted branches, bowling along nicely in second. Popular class moved up from last to third. Then Vintage Trader in fourth, and then Vision and the Grey Admiral Ascoli together. Quite. Wants to be going more than himself in the lead. They all appear to be travelling pretty nicely as they get to the ninth one. Mistake at the back though by Admiral Ascoli. Well, I think it was a full last week, so we'll probably do with a clear round to boost his confidence as they get to the next. This will be the last on the next circuit, and Admiral Ascoli was a little bit slow again, so maybe that mistake is just giving him the jitters a little bit as they pass the winning post then. Now swing out right handed then for one more. Circuit of Plum Melt and Lake Saint Croix leads by two to Popular Class in second. Vision has now gone back up into third, attracted Branch four, and in Vintage Trader five, gap of five lengths. Then to Admiral Ascoli, looks like being the one to miss out on the prize winning unless one of the others falls. And Admiral Ascoli again didn't jump that one very well. And these five have gone on as they get over the 12th. With Lake Saint Croix. Still in front from Vision. They've now moved up into second. Vintage Trader on popular class. That ditch saw a really good jump from Vintage Trader. But Lake San Quire being kept up to his work in the lead. Jumped that one nicely. Vintage Trader second. Vision third. Attracted branch four. Popular class now just starting to struggle. As they get to the third from home, and suddenly Lake San Quire is starting to put a little bit of distance in between himself and the chasers. Vision is second, Vintage Trader is third, Attracted Branch is four, Popular Class is five. Admiral Ascoli is somewhere, but it's Lake Saint Croix. Now four clear and probably pulling away again with a couple to still to take. And Lake Saint Croix is clear of Vision in second, Vintage Trader third, Attracted Branch four, and Popular Class five. And now all of a sudden, 
The leader's coming back to the pack and suddenly it's Vintage Trader and Vision who look like they're going to go past him as they race down towards the second last. It's a very short run in there. Still got two fences to take and only a full on half to go. It's Vision and Vintage Trader now pulling away from Lake San Quire. These two are having a battle as they race down towards the final fence. It's all going to come down to the jump. Vintage Trader on the near side and Vision on the far side. A much better jump by Vintage Trader but Vision is starting to fight back and Vision starts to poke his head in front. It's on the nod this one as they race up towards the line. It's mighty close. I think Vintage Trader possibly just was on the nod and the angle it can be deceptive on these courses and it's very close indeed that is, that is mighty close Vintage Trader's at least got a share of it it's a short head win for Vintage Trader and Leon Van Rensburg Vision for Joshua Sutherland was second, Lake saint Croix for Darren Thompson was third, popular class David Hoody fourth, and attracted branch for James Shea was fifth.